why is sleep vital for performance? So we set ourselves back by not getting proper rest. And I'm one that um, it's been something that has been difficult for me. I want to get up early. I want to get after it. Don't get to bed um, at, till 10 and try to wake up at 4. It's hard to get enough sleep. Uh, and as I've gotten older and having just some injuries and things like that, it's been something I've been – I need to get to bed earlier because, one, just cortisol levels. If, if we are not getting enough rest and we're not recovering, then we are more stressed. And then what that does is we make more decisions that aren't in line with what we want. But the big, the big picture here is – if you want elite results, if you want elite results, then sleep is a prerequisite. You have to have it because we make decisions that aren't in line with what we want long term when we're tired. We make stupid decisions. We say stupid things that cost us time and energy. So sleep is something that we need to make a priority. Think about this. There's 24 hours in a day and you spend a quarter of that a, a day sleeping in your bed. So then I would highly suggest if knowing that, getting a mattress and investing a little bit of money in a mattress because we know that that's going to benefit you. You know when you have energy and when you feel good and you got a good night's rest, you know mentally you're on another level. You know physically you feel on another level and how you feel, then that impacts all the other areas from there. So we want to make sure that we're making that sleep a priority because like I said, it's a prerequisite for elite results. And if we want to, uh, we're pushing our body when we're working out and things like that, we're putting our body through a lot. And so uh, giving yourself that that little bit of a uh, of a break is uh, is very very beneficial when uh, when we go into it. So like that's the that's the big focus, the big picture we want to go in there. How much do we need? Uh, you know, I go off about five hours right now, but really I should be getting more about six to seven hours, eight hours. Uh, I'm not one who likes to say like. Oh, well, you need this much. I like to go off the data. So I wear something called a whoop band here. This whoop band, what it does is it's an, a heart rate variability, um, and it, it stays on my wrist at all times. It tells me that, hey, Seth, you got, like today, I'm 20% recovery. I'm not that good on the recovery side of it. Um, so today I went for walks, and I won't do uh, a lot with the workout. I'll just really watch my nutrition as far as that stuff goes. So having that uh, way to be able to get to the data to let you know how much, but just listen to your body. If you're tired, um, you know, it's real easy to wake up and say, boy, I'm tired. I'm tired because we're all tired. That's why I like going off the data as far as that stuff goes. Um, but, but big picture is if you are uh, a little bit tired throughout the day, take a nap. Um, a 20 minute nap, you can actually get more benefit from a 20 minute nap. And I, I believe you get more from, uh, from that than some REM sleep from like a, just a 20 minute nap. Now, if you go over 20 minutes, then it's a, yeah, it's a different animal. Cause now you're sleeping and you got to wake up from that. And you can feel groggy and things like that. So just take a 20 minute nap and don't beat yourself up about it. Just understand it's something that you need to do to be able to get the, um, to, to, to show up for everybody else like that, like you need to and have the energy and things like you need to have. Um, when we're talking about the sleep environment and setting yourself up, room temperature is a big, uh, is a big focus as far as that stuff goes. Having a fan, um, I know like with a little background noise, uh, the fan helps out. Plus it'll keep you a little bit cooler and the place a little bit cooler that you're sleeping in. Also on top of that, a white noise, um, you know, blocking out all the lights and things like that. Are, um, are also benefits as well. So there's, there's things that we need to do. Um, and then also on that, some sleep supplements. You know, there's sleep supplements. It's not something we want to get, um, that we have to need something, but like magnesium is a good uh, sleep supplement that you can, uh, that you can take. Um, there's, a, there's one from a first, first form that, uh, that I've taken in the past that um, it, just, it just gives you all the vitamins and stuff that you need uh, to help you kind of wind down and, uh, and go from, uh, to sleep from there. So um, I'll tell you this. If you can get strength training in three to four days a week, you can get your steps and average uh, 10,000 steps a, a week, and you can really put a priority on protein and know how many calories you need and really uh, start focusing on that, and then you got your sleep down, 
you'll dom you'll you'll crush it. Like you're gonna feel great and you're gonna get amazing results that way. It's a guaranteed. So um, I hope this helps. If you have any questions or anything, don't ever hesitate to hit reply and we'll point you in the right direction. Talk soon.